there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today I'm going to show you how to get the look of washi tape without using up any of your precious tape. I know, don't we love to buy rolls of washi tape and just hoard it and not use it? Well, you don't have to worry about it because I'm going to show you how you can get the look of washi tape with any stamps that you have. I'd seen a, um, a stamp set by Stampin' Up! Then I thought, that is so cool, it looks like washi tape! But then I'm like, that is such a specific stamp that when the fad goes away, I'm not going to have anything to use it for. So I figured I would find a way to use my own supplies to get the same look. So what I'm going to use here is this, um, this is just a leftover glossy piece of paper. It's from, um, it was on the back of my Easy Mount uh, cling foam that I used from the back of my some of my stamps. Um, one side's really glossy and the other side is, you know, slightly glossy. And what I'm going to do is actually cut some uh, strips into this paper and I want to have uh, slits that are um, different widths apart. I've got my exacto knife here and I'm gonna do my first slits about, I think about an inch wide. You do want to try to keep them parallel if you can. I know your this paper is a little slippery. You could use um, like a plastic report cover, acetate. Um, look for your look in your junk mail because a lot of times junk mail is printed on really nice glossy paper. Um, this one I think I'll try to make about half an inch wide. I want three different sizes here, so I'm going to cut three different three different size slits. Just you know, eyeball it. Or measure it if you have. A, I should have brought over my smaller gridded mat, but this will work. And this one, I think I'll do about three quarters of an inch. Alrighty, I'll do this a little bit there. I think about like that. Just a little bit skinnier than that first one I did. And I, if you make one line a little bit longer than the other, it will help you in this next step. So now, what I'm going to do is tear away the strips and I wanted to tear it because I want to get that really nice edge there. You know, I think if I remember if you tear away from you you'll see the deckle edge. So you might actually want to tear towards you on these so that you get um, so that the glossy side stays there. And so here you actually end up with six templates because you can stamp over these these ends or these ends. So very, very clever. Very, very handy. I think you're really going to enjoy this. All right, now I don't want my template to move when I'm using it. Um, so what I'm going to do is actually spray this side with this Quilters Basting Spray. So let me, I'm going to do this off camera because I don't want to get my whole area sticky, but this is a Taylor Quilters Basting Spray. You can use a, any light repositionable adhesive or rep repositionable glue stick or something. So I'm going to pause it while I spray this. And just give your paper a uh, few minutes, a minute or two to, so it's not wet. Because if you stick it down once wet, you might actually have a permanent adhesive. So this is just tacky now. See, it's kind of tacks to my finger. That's exactly what you want. And then I'm just going to grab a piece of cardstock to play with here. And um, what I'm going to do is kind of set this, oops, going to make sure I don't have any ink pads. You don't want to get ink on this bottom side of your paper because that could transfer onto your, um, onto your cardstock. So what I'm doing is just setting this down and press it so it sticks to your paper. It's just going to be a light tack there. And then um, do some stamping. I think I'll go here with this nice floral design. This is a great way to just dig out those stamps you haven't used in a while. It gives a really fresh look to those, um, those tired old stamps you haven't been stamping. And uh, best part, of course, is you don't have to worry about wasting any of your precious washi tape, right? <laughs> All right, so now we've colored that in. So now we've got um, our first thing stamped. We're going to pull that up. Now look at that. It already looks like a piece of washi tape. But check this out. If I slide this over just a hair, okay, I can get the deckled look, the deckled edge look, simply by going in with like a shadow color ink. This is a Sage Shadow by Stampin' Up. I don't know if that color exists anymore, but you could use any sort of gray or um, ivory or anything like that. Just, just I would use the same color for all the, uh, all the inking you're going to do. And you could even keep the uh, the interior pieces. If you decide you want to add a shadow underneath, you could, you could lay your mask on top and you could shadow under it if you wanted to. I, I'm probably not going to do that, but that's an option. So I would just hang on to it in case you want to do that. And now this next one, I'm just going to put slightly above there. And just think, I mean, this can be reused so many times. Just wipe it with a cloth when you're done. Um, I think I will use this polka dotty pattern here. 
um, you want to make sure you don't use anything that's too thick. If you use a um, if you use a stamp uh, a paper that's too thick, then it's going to be hard to stamp through, and you're going to end up with a halo around your um, your images where you try to stamp, and that's not what you want. I'm just using these color dusters to help fill in the area. Again, I'm going to shift it down. Just like that. And go over it again with that sage. And I just love having that little bit of tackiness on the back. Tackiness, yeah. Well, that's something my work usually doesn't have, right? <laughs> Unfortunately, no. Then it just... Um, yeah, it just gives you a little, little shadow. And you can also even build a background by, you know, using a couple different stamps. Like I'll use, um, I think I'll use some stars and dots. Let me use, um, I'll do the star in green. So it's completely custom. Nobody else is gonna have washi tape that looks just like yours, which I think is awesome. i do a little pink here. Just like so, layer them up. And maybe some yellow. I don't think I've used any yellow yet. And I'm going to dust that with yellow since I haven't used any yellow. That's not going to show up too much. But it will a bit. It'll make it look like tape, I think. If you pinch your color duster, you can direct your color. And again, we're going to shift it down and do a little bit of a shadow there. And remember, you'd actually get six different um, patterns because you could flip it around and do all the other side. You could flip it around like that and go again with all these other sides and you get six completely different ends. But I'm going to stop it there just to give you a, give you a look here at um, our finished little tape strips. I think it looks great. And um, it's something you'd, anyone can do. You can use whatever scrap paper you can find. Here are some other examples. And I hope you try it because I think it's a lot of fun and it definitely makes you get more use out of your stamps. I want to thank you so much for watching. If you like this tutorial, please share it on Pinterest, share it on Facebook, give me a thumbs up because that really helps me out. And subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video. Um, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting!